So unfortunately, this is a true story from my life a couple of years ago. This would have taken place right before I graduated college, so at that time, I really wanted to mature my style. Long story short, I focused on building out my personal style and have since curated a set of outfit formulas that I'll be sharing with you today with common closet staples that I use so I have options when I don't either have the time or motivation to choose an outfit. And because these outfits are a bit simpler, I'm going to be sharing some tips at the end of the video for elevating and personalizing them. For the first outfit formula, I'm styling the classic white t-shirt and jeans. You have a lot of different options for shoes that you can pair with this outfit, but for this video, I've paired it with a matching belt, short black ankle boots, and a tote bag to dress it up a bit. Also, if you did happen to relate to the bit about the wrinkled shirt, a little hack for you is if you throw your shirt in the dryer with a damp rag for a couple of minutes, it will quickly de-wrinkle the shirt. Okay, so for outfit two, I have several different examples to share with you for this formula, which is jeans and a sweater. I think this particular look can look very different depending on the specific shoes and how you decide to accessorize, so I wanted to give you a couple of different options. The first is with a turtleneck sweater, and the second is with a cashmere sweater. I've paired it with a pair of boots, and I've added a belt. And I also have two examples of the casual version of this. The casual versions are styled with white sneakers and without the belt. So for outfit three, the formula I'm sharing with you is an elevated version of the staple college outfit, a black tank and jeans. For the elevated version, I've exchanged the black tank for a black bodysuit. I've exchanged sneakers for black boots and I've exchanged a backpack for this black tote bag. And just like before, I've added a belt and jewelry. This is actually the same jewelry I'll be wearing through the duration of this video. It's still a very simple outfit, but this version is a lot more sleek. So for outfit four, the formula for this one is a leather jacket and jeans. And just like before, I'm gonna be showing you two different variations of how to do this. Both of them are styled with a bodysuit and a belt, but the main difference is the fitted versus oversized jacket and the boots versus sneakers look, with the former being slightly more dressy and the latter being a bit more casual. Like you're seeing here, this is a very versatile look. For outfit five, the formula is a white blouse, which has been a staple for many decades at this point, with of course a pair of jeans. The white blouse I'm wearing here is a sheer blouse, so I've layered a lace tank underneath it, but you can wear whatever blouse you have. An opaque white blouse would look just as good with this. I paired this with the short black boots to dress it up a bit and matched it to the black tote bag. Because this blouse is a bit more fitted, I did not tuck it in. So for outfit six, the formula here is going to be the same as for outfit four, but this time we've adjusted for cooler weather. Here, I've layered that same cashmere sweater underneath my leather jacket, and I've also cuffed the sweater around the arms of the jacket. Just like before, it's the same belt, bag, and jewelry that I've been showing for this whole video. And outfit six concludes the jeans portion of this video. So for outfit seven, the formula for this one is a big sweater, little skirt, and tall boots. I almost exclusively pair mini skirts with tall boots, but you can add tights here if you want a little more coverage. Once again, of course, I'm pairing it with the same jewelry and a belt. So for outfit eight, we're editing the previous formula by removing the sweater and in exchange, adding an oversized blouse and tights. And because this blouse is an oversized blouse, I've tucked it into the skirt and I've also added a belt. By the way, in case you were curious, these are fleece line tights, so they're more appropriate for cooler weather. So for outfit nine, I'm styling a silk skirt, but you can use any long skirt here. I really like silk and satin style skirts because they can be styled more casually or more professionally. So for this particular outfit, I've styled it with a black bodysuit, long skirt, tall boots, a elegant belt, tote, and the same jewelry. It's very simple, but still looks very sleek and elegant. 
So for outfit 10, we're editing the previous outfit to make it more appropriate for cooler weather. So here I've added a sweater and the short black boots. This is actually the same sweater that I've been wearing in previous outfits. So at this point, you can really see how I repeat a lot of pieces throughout this video. So for outfit 11, the sheer blouse and white tank combo is back, but this time we're pairing it with the silk skirt. Once again, any white blouse will work with this. Tall boots are my favorite way to style midi skirts, but you have a lot of options for footwear with this. And again, as you're probably expecting, same jewelry and the same tote bag. And outfit 11 concludes the skirt section of this video. So for outfit 12, I'm showing you a couple of variations with the first example being the casual version. This is essentially a more acceptable version of sweatpants in a t-shirt. This is one of my personal go-to lazy day outfits. I know you're shocked to see a belt again, and of course I'm wearing the same jewelry in the same tote bag. You could also do this with a different t-shirt, like a graphic tee. You do have a lot of room for experimentation here. And for the dressy version of this outfit, I've paired it with a pair of black loafers like you're seeing here. So for outfit 13, I'm again following my personal mantra, when in doubt, wear black. So again, I've styled this with a black bodysuit, and again, I'm wearing black loafers for a dressier choice of footwear. And just like before, same belt, jewelry, and bag. You do have a lot of options for footwear for this look, so if you want to style it with sneakers for a more casual look, you have that option. So for outfit 14, we're taking the previous outfit and we're transitioning it for cooler weather by adding a sweater. Once again, you have the opportunity to make this dressier or more casual depending on your choice of footwear. I personally felt like the loafers needed a little bit more attention in this video, so you're seeing me style them here now. So outfit 14 concludes the trousers portion of this video, and now we move on to my tips for elevating your outfits. So for my first tip for elevating your outfits, I think jewelry is a little bit more of an obvious example here, but I think the type of jewelry you wear and how you style it can really make a big difference. So the pieces I've been wearing throughout this video were gifted to me, so this video is in partnership with Ana Luisa. So the first piece I was gifted is this very simple gold necklace, and the second is this gold watch style bracelet. So the pieces I'm wearing in this video were specifically selected because I think they're more versatile, everyday pieces that you can style a variety of different ways. So when I showed these pieces to my boyfriend and a good friend of mine, they were both immediately more drawn to the bracelet, and I, I definitely am as well, but I really like how they wear as a set. They are both the same style of gold. It's like that yellow gold. So I've been partnering with Ana Luisa since 2021, and I wanted to show you how some of my older pieces have held up over the years. So first piece is the set of three necklaces. I wear the pendant very, very frequently. I was also gifted a set of earrings that match the pendant, and both have held up very well. My only concern with Ana Luisa jewelry has been with this smaller pair of earrings, and I have noticed a slight tarnishing at the clasp part of the earring, and the closure on these earrings is very delicate. I've noticed that the closure on one of the earrings doesn't clasp shut anymore. This could just be with my set in particular, but I just wanted to let you know for the sake of transparency. So if you are interested in looking at some of these pieces, I have a link in the description box with my own unique ID. So if you decide you want to take a look at their pieces, they'll know I sent you. My second tip is to use belts strategically to elevate your outfits. I think someone in a comment section of my video once wrote, belts, bags, and shoes are like magic, and I think belts are really the secret weapon here. Bags and shoes are a little bit more obvious, they're things that you would normally think about, but the belts not so much. Not only does it make it more visually interesting to look at, but I think it also creates a more cohesive transition from the top to the bottom. There are so many different options for types of belts you can style, so you can really use this opportunity to personalize it. 
And my third tip for elevating your outfits is to strategically use hair accessories. I think some of the most obvious ones are gonna be bows, headbands, claw clips, and silk scarves. Especially with claw clips, I've seen so many designs that are very elegant and elaborate. You can use these to make your outfit look a lot more interesting, especially if you use it as a pop of color. Now, if you heard the silk scarves idea and you're wondering how to style your hair with a silk scarf, I have also strategically posted a video prior to this one with tutorials for over 20 different silk scarf hairstyles that are all beginner friendly. This is the part of the video where I remind you to take a screenshot of the formula chart so you can save it for whenever you need this outfit inspo. With that said, I'll remind you that if you're interested in the Ana Luisa pieces I've shown, the link is in the description box. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, all right. So my second, my second tip is to use belts. My second tip is to use belts. My second tip is to use belts strategically. Why can I not say that?